Vector's the smartest robot in the world. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Julian Sevy and my dad here. Hey, guys. Hey, everybody. Alexa, what about Cosmo? Cosmo is a pretty smart robot, too. We're here today with Cosmo and Vector, and Cosmo's wearing the red track packs from this. What? <laughs> what did he just say? Um, every time we, every time we pick him up, we programmed him to say "Stop it, I am ticklish." So he says, "Stop it, I am ticklish." Yeah. Every time you pick him up, and red shreds collector's edition tracks packs because next week Vector gets his own tracks pack. Yeah, we've pre-ordered them already. They look really cool. I'll put a picture up here of what the package looks like. We are super excited to get them. And uh, Julian, why are we really here today? Today we're here to show you guys um, Anki's new book. It's Create with Cosmo, Fun Ways to Code Your Robot Sidekick. Yeah, and we learned something new with the book already. Pick them up again. So that's forever? He'll just keep saying that. Yeah. Over and over and over and over again. All right, pretty cool. All right, so here's the Create with Cosmo book, and this book can be found on the Anki website and also on Amazon.com. Yeah, Vector and, just said city. <laughs> and show a hard, it's a hardback and book, it's, right? It's a hardback book. Yeah, bang it a little bit. It's nice, right? This is a nice book that's going to last forever. And so he keeps saying your name. How many pages is it? It's 95 pages. 95 pages long. And I also saw it, they were selling it over the holidays um, in bundles. Um, with Cosmo and I think the Tread Packs, I'm not sure, but it was in one of the bundles and stuff like that. And, and Sebi, who's the book really geared towards? It's really geared towards beginners and interme intermediates trying to learn how to code, but it's, you could also... Like avid fans, too. Like if you love Cosmo and coding, you're just going to want the book, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and listen, even advanced people, there's some stuff to learn. But if you're a first-time user of Cosmo, this book's pretty cool. Um, so I'll say anybody. But again, like Sebi said, beginners yeah. and intermediates, avid fans who just want to have a coding book. Did we learn anything new from this book? Yeah. We did. In 10 minutes of using it, we did learn a... Go Eagles Go. Go Eagles Go? Oh, so now he's an Eagles fan? Yeah. So if you pick him up, you change that. Yeah. Every time you pick him up, he says, Go Eagles Go, because we need the Eagles to win today. And the other teams lose. And the Bears to win, and the 49ers to win, and we make the playoffs, right? Yeah. All right, let's show the inside of the book now. All right, so in the table of contents, we have pretty much four sections. We have the general information up above, and then we have coder level one. We have coder level two and coder level three, which are like three different levels of coding as you advance and get, and it gets more difficult. Yeah, and within each coder level, there's a couple, there's obviously there's projects and stuff like that, but there's also some other stuff, right, there's Some ideas and challenges that you can also do. Yeah, trying to um, get you to create further in, further develop programs that are out there and stuff like that, and um, challenge you to do some things. And this is kind of the beginning, right? Yeah. Which is pretty cool, getting to know Cosmo. This is pretty cool because it's in the code block, all this information, which is nice. And then it flips over into the beginning of the projects and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get started. A little bit more about each block and some of the basics, all the different color blocks and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And then comes the mistake that I was doing wrong in my coding. Why don't you flip to the next page that I realized right away was singing Cosmo. Why don't you go out and play the last song that we created for the holiday video. We had created a song, but I'm going to show the coding for it. But I did it wrong for making a song play. I had, the way I did it, don't hit play yet, but the way I did it was we had put all the notes and then I had play all the notes in the song. Actually, I'm sorry. I had play all the notes yeah, in the play song. All the notes first. See, here's what I had: play all the notes in the song, and then all the notes. And you didn't have any notes when you had to say that. And it was glitching out, and we were having trouble with it. But we figured out workaround on it. But really, first you're supposed to clear all the notes, and then you're supposed to play all the notes in the song. So let Julian fix it real quick. I'm gonna play the song that he did. All right. So Julian has now fixed the coding, and it fixed starts off project. with clear the notes, then. All the notes, then play the notes, and go ahead and hit play. And jingle bells. Not bad. We did pretty good. We took simple piano off of the internet and found all the notes, and then created all those. The only downside to singing Cosmo is there's no eighths. 
quarters are the lowest that it goes and stuff like that. And Julian actually just said hello to you. Hi, Victor. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if he hears you back, but he did say hi to you a second ago. Well, Vector's kind of going away from <laughs> us. I'm uh, and he's driving near Chip, who's sleeping over there on the floor. Uh, oh, he's back. All right, Sebby, so what do you got next? So the next thing that I created was in the forever, we took a forever block and we made it into a loop. And once we pick up Cosmo, instead of saying, say hi, we said, Oh, so you changed it again. Yeah, now it yeah. says, I love my brother Vector. Well, that's nice. And Vector's getting stuck on the book, analyzing he things. He just wanted to be petted a second ago, which is pretty cool. So throughout the chapter, it gets a little harder. It gets a little harder. Then at the end of the chapter, there's some cool stuff in here that Julian's going to show. And there he is. So what have we got? So we got um, some challenges and stuff, which is start a band with Cosmo. And we got design your own project. Yeah, trying to challenge you to create stuff and write it down, obviously, in the book. or And then there's creative coding, right? Which is all kinds of different... And the stuff that you learned from... Yeah, stuff that you learned and different definitions of coding concepts and stuff like that. And then it jumps over into um, coding level two and, of course, coding level three. All right, so we skipped a few pages ahead in level two. And we came across the Tiny Orchestra, which is already in the app as one of their featured projects. Yep. And it's pretty, it's, it, all the steps to make it are right here if you wanted to create it yourself. Yeah, and it also, what it does nice is describes each block and what it's doing, which will help educate you to create your own projects as well. But by giving you kind of step-by-step -step instruction, how it follows through and keep flipping join, it'll kind of teach you a little bit about it. And this is the final steps right here, what it looks like, yes. the finished project, which is pretty cool. And then Sebi's going to show it on the uh, app right so here. So here's the picture of Tiny Orchestra, and then once it... Yeah, once it loads up, it's the same code, it's everything, and you can play Tiny Orchestra, which is kind of cool. And that's the actual coding, which will match up with the coding in the book. And Julian, we'll show two more projects that are really popular. Compliment Generator. The Compliment Generator, which is a popular one. And finally, the other one that we found was, uh, there's Remote Control Racer. Stare off. And Stare Off. We made a video, Sebi, the staring contest yeah. with, that, with that code right there. So it's pretty cool. It's a really big, large amount of coding. That's the one drawback, right, Julian, that you were yes, saying? It's a little bit hard to see everything that you're doing compared to coding on a PC when you can pretty much see everything. Yeah, but you can shrink it with the button down there, right? Hit that little circle button, that'll be the minus, and that'll shrink the coding. So you can kind of shrink it down, enlarge it, shrink it down. I Personally, I'd love to be able to do this on a PC and then export it over. But that's not bad on an iPad or a tablet. It's a lot harder to use on a phone, though. So uh, that's it with the book, and uh, we like it, right? It's yeah, pretty it's cool. Pretty it's cool. going to sit on our cocktail table and we're going to keep looking at it and trying to get some more ideas from it for how to create with Cosmo. And maybe one day Vector will get to the SDK, start learning a little bit more about that. Or maybe Anki will start opening up a few more features, as he just said your name, Julian. But uh, anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Later, everybody.